First thing on the agenda, Dean Saunders, Manchester City are winners of the Champions League and the treble. Well, Manchester City have won 43 games this season. Number 44 provides them with footballing immortality. Is this their night of European glory, of the treble, of history? The 2023 Champions League final is underway. Today was our year, but in the past, don't do it. Of course, we're incredibly satisfied for the something unique, the travel for this club. Oh, terrible mistake, Lautaro Martinez is inside the penalty area and Edison has come out and spared a Kanji's blushes. There's certainly an element of nerves that's emulating straight through the, the core of this Manchester City lineup. Yeah, we're not the biggest club in the world. Every City fan accepts that, yep. but we are the best team. It's Bernardo Silva back in, and on the edge of the area, it's fallen in! And Manchester City lead! It's Rodri! with a goal that could be one of the most historic in Manchester City's long, long story in history. Rodri, oh my God, what a player, Rodri. That's our worst performance of the season. Yeah. But they kept believing and they kept believing and they kept believing and they kept believing and we did it and I think this spells danger for everybody. Manchester City have won the Champions League. The treble delivered. OK, there we go. What an emotional package as well. Whoever put that together, well done. Now, Pep Guardiola has become the first ever manager to win the treble with two different clubs. Did it with Barca in 2008-2009 season and Man City now. So, TalkSport also brought you exclusive radio commentary of the 11th Soccer Aid charity match. Um, we'll talk about that in just a second, but I suppose we should... I love how we're doing them back to back. Like, it's uh. like... City won the treble and Soccer Aid was happening too. Um, listen, Soccer Aid, obviously, for a brilliant cause. We'll discuss, maybe you can kind of rank the performances that you saw Dean Saunders in just a second's time. But first of all, um, this occasion for Man City, just to win the Champions League, has been just out of their grasp under Pep Guardiola and in general for what feels like a long time. Now they've done it and they almost did it in the best possible way. It's, it's almost a little bit like it was written in the stars to miss out on the way that they did in the previous seasons so it could come together and they could do the treble. What did mm. you make of it all? Um, well, if you listen to Pep's interview after the game, he said that we've got proper defenders. He had four centre-backs on the pitch. Mm. The back three were John Stones in front. And he's obviously thought to himself, we keep getting done on set plays, we keep getting done on corners and free kicks. So I'll try and get a bigger defence so we defend the box better. And they kept a clean sheet. I thought the game was was okay, but um, I thought Inter Milan stifled Man City the best they could. They had a few three v three situations that they didn't make the most of on the break, and they ground them down, didn't they? Mm. You know, eventually the ground. Lukaku's missed a chance. He's got a score there, Lukaku, and the goalkeeper hero Edison makes two saves. The first one wasn't such a great save. He was in the right place, mm. but the second one was a great save in the ninety fifth minute. Um, and what team um, and I've got to say Jack Grealish uh, every time I see him speaking on the TV he's like your best mate that uh, no. everybody wants isn't he no. he's like a normal lad yep. he went I was rubbish <laughs> out there yep. and then he and then he goes on to tell you you know we, he's crying his eyes out and um, I mean I've I seen him on a plane he's still got his kit on <laughs> 7 o'clock in the morning <laughs> and Hallen's it's interview great, did you see Hallen's interview with Thierry Henry no Amazing. I didn't see it. What yeah. happened? Tell us. He said, um, can I ask you a question? He said, I'm 22. And uh, Hallen saying to Henri, I'm, t I'm only 22. He said, and do you think there's anything I can improve on? Wow. And he went, yeah, you've got to score go more goals with your right foot. <laughs> and he went, I know that. I know that. I know I've got to do that. But I'm only 22. He said, imagine what you were like when you were 22. Oh. He was t he, but he was talking like yeah. uh, the lad out the street. Thierry Henry's first season at Arsenal as well wasn't he didn't set the world on fire did he and and then obviously went on to become one of the all time greats so that's that's actually incredible see I love those kind of crossovers Ali yeah like, it's great ah it's brilliant but also Dino's spot on with his, you know assessment of Jack Grealish he, he, we we the conversation Dino you're probably travelling to work this morning and you wouldn't have heard it you know and the question was put to me is Jack Grealish the most relatable footballer going about top footballer going about and I said, absolutely. You look at him, because he could be your pal having a pint. He, 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 he appreciates 
his role and where he is and he appreciates how lucky he is and he appreciates the fact there's millions and millions of people would like to be in that position and I just think he's, he handles it all well. No, you're right. I, I mean, obviously with his character that he's had as he's growing up, he's he's done really well to get to where he's got to yeah. without going down the wrong road yes. completely because... It's like is it? He, he's one of them lads that find it hard to tell his mates, "I can't go out tonight." Yeah, yeah. you know, I'm, I can't come with you. But <laughs> I mean, he, he's he's done his job again. He's talking about Pep, what how Pep's changed him, uh, telling him to hold his position, where he's got to be when when you lose the ball. I mean, Sane never got back a few times. Mm-hmm. He got rid of him, yep. so he's give he's given Jack plenty of time. And Jack was saying, at first, I I do something good, and he's shouting at me from the bench. I done something good, <laughs> thinking. He said, and then I realised, in his eyes, it wasn't good. I played the wrong pass. Yeah. Because it's like a game of chess. Yeah. But um, well done to them. They've, they've won the treble. And, I mean, next season, our team's going to find out that system. A back three with John Stones in front. Yeah. I'm I thought, sure by then he'll figure something else yeah, out. Yeah, he'll do something else. Him. I thought uh, Inter Milan, you know, uh, played them as well as they actually could have. I, I thought Inter Milan, from, from their own point of game, the only thing that was missing the Inter Milan, Milan performances was uh, the finishing at the end, because they know Man City have got a lot of possession, so they try and stifle them as much as they can and make it uncomfortable for them, and they did that. Um, and, and we're all saying City didn't play as well as they can. Of course they didn't, but a lot of that was down to the, the way Inter, Inter set up. I thought they set up really, really well, and from their own point of view, they were organised, they were fit. The only thing that was missing in Inter's performance was was a, a clinical element to the finishing. No, you're spot on. That's exactly how I saw it. Talk Sport Breakfast with Laura Woods. Monday to Wednesday morning, 6 till 10. On AM, on DAB, via the Talk Sport app, and on your smart speaker. Talk.